Oh, I've got uh, like a chicken feather in my mouth. Oh. I'm Anna. I'm 80. And we're Mother, Mother Pop Popcorn. Popcorn. So what does Mother Popcorn mean? How did you come up with that name? Well, it's a James Brown song, but honestly, I just like the name. And I don't know what maybe you... 80 came up with it. And then we thought of a Mother Popcorn as a mother ship. A spaceship. That was the shape of a giant popcorn. We collaborate on different levels. We collaborate as visual artists. We do uh, installations together. We work on paintings together. Um, we collaborate musically. And the way that we write songs is more of sort of like collage. We kind of just add elements together and paste things together and make like sort of little vignettes, almost like little prayers or something. And then we, we perform them in a way that's really like performance art more than it is like a band playing these songs that are, you know, bridge chorus verse. We have a floor tom and then right now we have a snare, but sometimes we had a rack tom and we have a steel drum and we have roto toms. We use different percussion instruments, like we have a kibasa, uh, sleigh bells, we have a loop station, so we loop vocals, and then we have a violin as well that we play through some effects and then also through a loop station. But everything's really minimal. We use everything really minimally. Anna had this band that came to Portland and played with my band in Portland in like 2007. I kind of stalked her band. <laughs> because a friend of mine who lived in Portland had posted about them and I saw that they were two women of color in this really awesome like late 70s feminist punk throwback kind of band like really raincoats inspired and I was really inspired by them. We found each other. <laughs> Hold me. <laughs> a lot of our songs are sort of cosmic wanderings and we do a lot of that in our visual art collaboration and on our blog and stuff like that. We post about <clears throat> outer space and the mothership and the mother popcorn ship. It's really hard for me to live in the present, so I'm inspired by like the past and the future. I like a lot of old pictures, so I like find old pictures of like my family or of like from old magazines with like black people in them from the 60s and 70s when people still had like natural hair and there wasn't like editing of how people looked as much. And then I'm inspired by trying to create a space in the future for those things to be like that again because I feel like we're in kind of this weird like checked out period of time. My visual art, sort of in a similar way to 80s, kind of likes to imagine an alternate reality or an alternate future. I like to think about time traveling and making up scenarios of like going into the future to a different galaxy and then discovering magical stones there and then like I'll take actual stones and paint them how I would imagine those stones to be and then I will bless them to have certain magical powers that were supposedly from that planet. It's all, it's all really textbook stuff. <laughs> Documentation is really important to us. We feel like a lot of people have not been documented throughout history and they tend to be folks of color, they tend to be women, they tend to be queer people. And for us, it's really important to document things and to, you know, make this history known and, and for the future, for future generations to look back on it because, you know, we're, we're always searching for things and, you know, AD makes her paintings because, you know, the, the, no, who else makes paintings of Irma Thomas? Like, nobody that I know and, like, you know, that is really special. So we feel like we have to create because things weren't created for us and things weren't documented for us. I think we want to start a cult. We do. No, I really, no, I think we're hoping that all these people will just gravitate towards us and one day we'll just live on an island. We do. I mean, we're, ha we're half serious and half serious. So we're 100% serious. <laughs> In the ideal world, someone would give us money and we would buy an island where all our friends could come down there and we would Make just have art. like millions of drums. And we would just like all play drums and eat like rice and fish and, and chicken and plantains and like and eat avocados. mangoes and avocados and just like pineapples. 
That's our dream. Yeah. And then we come back here to like New York and stuff and we just like wearing like robes. Face paint? Yeah, like face paint. And lots of jewels. Yeah. Lots and of all bells. Like crystals. So and many bells and crystals. And just jingling down the street. 